Alright, so I have some good news for everyone. Um, my uh, first issue for the Marvel 2012 site, Avengers number one, is uh, almost done. Yeah, I know I've said that before, but um, I do actually have a release date. Uh, a re the release date is going to be uh, February 24th. The reason why it's not going to be earlier is because I'm going to be very busy uh, for the uh, uh, for a few for a few days. I'm going to be at a convention, uh, and I'm basically going to be keeping my mind off that for a while. So it's almost complete. Avengers number one is almost complete. So really hyped about that. Um, what I I just actually want to do this video and talk about what I intend on doing for the Avengers uh, series. Uh, what I intend on doing for the Avengers series is, first off, I'm only sticking around for 25 issues. That's it. I'm ending my run at 25. Furthermore, um, there's going to be a total of 10 team members, and this team is going... To, I wanted to make this team very different. Now, um, Liam... Uh, when, we, when I took this deal from Liam to do the Avengers, I had to do this on, very few, on a lot of ground rules. Uh, the three major rules were I had to have Hawkeye, Captain America, and Iron Man on the team. Uh, had to have them on the team. Uh, and I, I didn't mind that. I didn't mind that I had to use um, those three in there. Hawkeye, Cap, and, and Tony. I didn't mind that. Uh, the other thing was get rid of Red Hulk. Basically, keep, Ross no longer is the Red Hulk. Gotta get rid of that. So that was the other agreement. And the final agreement is was get have Spider-Man and Wolverine off the team. Uh, in my continuity, yeah, Spider-Man and Wolverine off the team, which was something I was actually intended on doing anyway. Um, so, yeah, uh, that that's pretty much the rules. Now, the reason why I have Spider-Man and Wolverine off the team is because. They're very busy, you know. I'm pretty sure everyone is tired of th seeing them on the Avengers and ha having them in so many books. So basically, how I wrote it is that uh, Logan has um, has basically chosen doing his uh, stuff with his X-Men team over the Avengers. He's basically said to Steve, "Yeah, I've, I've never felt, you know, like one of you guys. I never felt right among you guys. So I'm going back. I got a whole school to teach now. I can't keep up with this and what's going on on my side." And with Peter, he basically is like, you know, I can't keep this up. You know, I've got stuff to do in my life, and you know, Reed, Reed, Sue, and Johnny, not Johnny, and Ben. You know, the um, Reed and his family need me because in this continuity, um, we're keeping the Human Torch dead. We're keeping the Human Torch. Why do I keep repeating things twice? But yeah, we're keeping Johnny dead in this continuity. Same with Thor and a lot of other characters who've died. We're keeping them dead. Dead ski. But, yeah, that's the other one, that basically they leave because they are uh, they can't juggle all this and be an Avenger. And, which is good because I'm tired of their overexposure, so that's one thing. Um, now, the team member, the team, like I said, is ten, and I'm going to reveal the team in here. Now, I'm not going to say how they appear and all that, but the team is... Captain America, Iron Man, Hawkeye, Beta Ray Bill, Black Panther, Scar, Falcon, Songbird, Firestar, and Ant-Man. The Eric O'Grady Ant-Man, the third one. So yeah, that's the whole roster right there. I was thinking about making it shorter, and I might, um, later on down the road, but for now it's, it's going to be ten, for the most part. I have um, a few ideas set... Um, I will say this: my uh, the, the 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 towards the end of my run on Avengers, uh, I will be ending my run on Avengers with Ultron. I'm not going to say how, but I'm going to say it's going to end with a bang. And what better way to end my Avengers story than with my favorite Marvel, my favorite Marvel villain? Um, and for those who don't know, Ultron is my favorite Marvel Universe villain. Uh, so I thought, what better way than to have him go up against the Avengers and just throw everything I could possibly fit in there. Um, so yeah, but I'm only going to be doing this for 25 issues. Also, um, the other ideas I have in my head, uh, the other ideas is that um, I'm bringing in the Gladiator, the Brood, uh, the Purple Man, 
um, not in the end series, but throughout the series you're going to see them, uh, the Wrecking Crew, uh, I intend on doing something, uh, involving Mephisto, don't exactly know what, I just, I just have a general idea with that, but, um, yeah, the other thing, another thing I want to bring up, I'm keeping my continuity, Avengers continuity in itself, um, which is how the books were originally like, um, in the, when the books first appeared, uh, the Avengers were in their own kind of, uh, series, like, they hardly, they, they did feel the effects of the Marvel Universe, but it was very, the Avengers were very self-contained, like, you could pick this up and still be, and it was still, like, the mainstay of the book, that's how it originally was, um, at least up until the, I want to say, early 70s, that's how it was, so I want to go back to that field. So I don't really want to cross into and go into everyone else's continuity with the 12, 2012 universe. I really don't want to do that. Not in the least. Um, because I don't want to get my continuity mixed up with someone else. Now, I have actually... I do want to do this one thing. I did talk to the Mount Vernon kid about this just a little bit since he is writing a... Well, actually, no. I didn't talk that over with... The Mount Vernon Kid. I'm totally thinking of something else, but for those who don't know, the Mount Vernon Kid is writing on the website a Iron Fist and Power Man, uh, I mean Luke Cage and Iron Fist miniseries. Uh, he's writing that. I don't know. He's thinking about. I I heard he might be doing an ongoing, but he he just wants to do a miniseries right now. Uh, I want to actually do a a kind of a. Shit, now I lost my place. I'm sorry, guys, but it's very late on my end. It's like 2 in the morning on uh, here on my end. If you, At least when you're watching this video, it's going to be 2 in the morning. It's, it's 2 in the morning. I don't know what time it will be when you see this video, but right now, when I'm, record when I'm recording this video, so cut me some slack. <sighs> anyway, um... But yeah, I want to do a lot of action, um... I'm going to keep it just, uh, I might make the team lower, I'm, that doesn't necessarily, necessarily mean I'm going to kill somebody off, but I do have some ideas of, uh, of killing a, a few Avengers off towards the end. I'm not going to say who, but, um, let's just say when one dies, it's going to ignite the whole galaxy into a war. And that doesn't mean they're on the Avengers team, but they may be on a team that has the name Avenger on it. Um, uh, so... Yeah. Anyway, um, once again, the uh, the official release date, if not earlier, I'll do another video if I release it earlier, but for right now, the release date is the 24th, so hope everyone's hyped for that. I would have had it earlier, but I've been very busy trying to get my own work out with this and, you know, trying to do everything in between. Yeah, I've been very busy, so... Um, that's probably, that's more than likely the official date. The official release date of My Avengers number one story for the Marvel 2012 website. So, yeah. Once again, I'm not really looking interested, I'm not really trying, if, please, people, because some people have asked me about this, um, who have written, who are writing the book. I'm not trying to sound like a douche, I just don't want to get people's continuity mixed up with my own. And that's just gonna mess everything up with their continuity as well as mine. I don't really want to mess with anyone's continuity in their stories. If you're a writer on the website um, of Mar Marvel 2012, I really just want to keep it my own thing. Like, um, I'm not trying to sound like a douche. I just don't want to mess up anyone's continuity and get anything wrong on their end, and then everyone's gonna be pissed off and da 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 da. You know the whole story. But yeah. Anyway, hope everyone's uh, kind. Of, I hope everyone's kind, uh, uh, kind of hyped because now you all have an official date for my Avengers story, which I've been yammering on about a few, here and there on a, on a more than likely a majority of my few videos for the past. So yeah, hopefully I can get it all done and February twenty fourth. I have the release date and it goes on the website. And that's just for issue one. I don't. I don't know when the hell I'd get issue two out because, I, like I said, I'm like Mark Millar. I'm always delayed. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'm out. Oh, one more thing before I go. One more thing. I just remembered this. 
the title is not just going to be called The Avengers. Um, the story, the title of this story is not going to be called Avengers. It's not going to be called like a, a Mighty or the New Avengers. I'm calling it The Astonishing Avengers. So, yeah, The Astonishing Avengers. Hope everyone likes that title because I don't think that's ever been on an Avengers title. So, I mean, we've seen Mighty, we've seen New, we've seen Ultimate Avengers, we've seen yeah, nah, 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 uh, all different types of titles. But I want to put a st call them The Astonishing Avengers. Um. But yeah, that's always been like I've always uh, I've always wanted to um, have an Avengers team and just like uh, and go against the wind of calling them different teams like Mighty and all the other ones. So astonish. So when you see the story, and it's called the Astonishing Avengers. There you go. So yeah. Anyway, I'm out. <laughs>